Kyle. I'm joined by Callum Knight. We're going to be reviewing uh, GmbH or GmbH if you are German. Um, this is uh, the invite that we got given. It's the all-seeing eye on it uh, with a few lovely poems about the North South as if this was the compass. And um, this is very telling for the collection. Um, all-seeing eye is um, well, lots of different uh, communities uh, use it as a symbol of protection, but mostly it's affiliated with Middle East, um, Turkey, and sometimes Greece. Um, but it's supposed to be worn as a charm or hung in the house um, as a symbol of protection. Um, and so this idea of protection was really prevalent in the collection. Um, normally, GmbH used the idea of protection in this sort of German arm, army surplus, slightly aggressive um, manner. It's like club wear, it's like club kid, creating a community and protecting them through padding and bombers and straps and harnesses and lots of quite intense outerwear. This was entirely different, very romantic. There were elements to that, but they'd been softened and melded into the entire silhouette. So brilliant um, Middle Eastern music playing over the top, remixed with the lyre, um, which I was like furiously shazamming because it was so brilliant. Um, and lots of swathes of white. So the first section was all in white. Um, and I think when you do something in such a bright white, even though we just saw bright white Dior, um, you, your eye can, can only help but really focus in on the details. There's nowhere to hide when you're doing head to toe white looks. Um, and the details here were really brilliant on the women's wear, the slice of a jacket at the back, the dress had these kind of scalloped ruffles purposefully put just to fit through the kind of ja uh, jagged cut at the back of the coat, which I thought was brilliant. And as they move and we we're outside, um, just that real flow to it. And that fluidity is something that um, Benjamin and Serkat were really trying to focus on in these clothes, really get this fluid, calming motion um, as protection, because this was supposed to be a spiritual protection with this eye motif, rather than a physical um, embodied protection. Um, beautiful um, suiting. So last season, they had a navy coat that had a, a twisted around the waist, kind of a, a wrap around the waist, very in the same material as the coat. This season that had been amplified as if to kind of wrap oneself. Um, less physical though, it didn't damage the silhouette in any way. You wouldn't, If you were kind of turning profile, you probably wouldn't see it. But really wrapping tightly around the waist and that happened on a really lovely polo shirts as well, in linen, in khakis and really, really hot pink. And that kind of combination I thought was really strong, that khaki and hot pink. And that was, um, really key in their ASICS collaboration. It had a hot pink sole, a gummy sole, and then um, the khaki over the top, which was brilliant. Really, really brilliant. Um, one thing I will say that Jim B. H. struggles with is the women's wear shoes. None of the models seem to be able to walk in them ever. Um, but aside from that, um, really beautiful fluid lines, amazing hot pinks and um, blues, all these colors that you would associate with kind of, um, it made me think of Lebanese culture and amazing kind of patterned shirts and streets. And it was just, it was really romantic actually. I think there was an element of romance there even though it was about protection. Um, the eye motif as well, all over shirts and flowing dresses in such sheer prints. And the women's wear was um, almost a balconette bra neckline, um, which really popped away from the chest and added another kind of sculptural line as well. I just thought, I actually thought this was one of the best GMBH shows ever. Mm, for sure. And I also think that when they were doing full block colours, I was trying to work out why. I mean, it looked amazing, but I was like, there's a reason they're doing this now and not before. Mm. And I couldn't work it out until the end when they all came out together. And I realised it almost was like they were all pieces of a mosaic that fitted together and it so fits in with their community mm. aspect. And I do understand what you're saying about the models, but also you have to know, it's not that the models never change. It's the same models, season and season and season. There's a few in, few out, I'm sure, because of timetabling and mm. people's commitments, but there's the same group of models coming out again and again and again. And whilst you recognise that, because you already know what their body looks like, you can actually see the cha the tiniest changes in tailoring. Yeah. Because you saw it on that person last season. Yeah, absolutely. And the season before, and you can see that change. Yeah. Which is really clever. And I don't know if it's intentional or if they just like the people that they work with. I'm sure it's both. <laughs> um, it's that sense of community as well that's really important. Yeah, because you just see those faces and you automatically think, you know, before, you know, oh, that's them and that's what they're doing. I think the spirituality we're seeing all this protectiveness for not 
for things that aren't necessarily physical seems to be coming up a lot and also this idea of nostalgia and looking back and seems to be coming up a lot this season mm. um, but I think they've done it in a really subtle and very much in their own way not in kind of like well that's what everyone's talking about so why don't we whack that in the press release yeah absolutely and actually that you mentioned subtle their hammer motif I thought was really beautifully subtle throughout the collection yeah. just little lapel moments on the back of the A6 on the heel um, just tiny little accents rather than usually it's kind of quite blown up and quite yeah. in your face as again that kind of ties in with that aggressive protection we've had before there, there was also a real sense of fluidity in the fabrics used obviously they were uh, kind of cinched in at points mm. and where they were cinched in I felt they were more cinched than they had ever been before as of really grasping onto the body for protection mm. but then you know there was the there was a lot more drapery than I think we've seen or at least kind of obvious drapery um, in a lot of the looks and actually the way that they fell I felt was a new was really new for them because when I think of GmbH I, I think of that very structural yeah. stuff but actually to see this other side of them that the spring summer side the spring summer side yeah um was really lovely and shows where this brand can go because i think everyone knew their motifs and knew what they were doing and kind of had put them in one box and this is taking them out of its idea and showing a new chapter yeah you know and we've been going to the shows they've been getting bigger and bigger better attended better yeah. every season Absolutely. and that's not stopping now for sure yeah and actually um talking about that that signature Jim BH um, when I th when we used to think of Jim BH we thought of those slightly tight tops and the beautiful belted trousers that were slightly work wear and actually there was only one look yeah. like that which was a vest with the all seeing eye and they'd taken our favourite item from the last time we saw mm. them which was that coat and just ran with it throughout yeah. the entire collection which I thought was I was very grateful yeah. for that one more thing I know I'm a big fan of no one can tell I also think they really speak to a customer that doesn't know fashion or doesn't care for fashion but cares for craft and cares for quality and mm. I think they do that really well at an amazing price, price point in a very non-judgmental way. It feels really earnest. Yeah, in a really earnest way. I think it's, that's a lot better word than yeah. <laughs> I was using. Um, and I just think that's really lovely because sometimes when you see people, I don't know, name names, it can feel a bit pretentious, like I'm, I make for the masses. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like that it's, it is what they do but it really speaks to a lot of people from a lot of different paths yeah. and that's really hard yeah absolutely you want to be part of this honest community whereas it's less kind of buy a bag with my logo and you'll be a part of the community yeah. it's like you really you really have to be a part of the family to be a part yeah. of the community um, well in case you couldn't tell we're very big fans <laughs> of GmbH um, best show ever uh, really fantastic congratulations um, GmbH uh, thank you guys very much for watching please do subscribe lots more to come uh, make sure you get that little notification and uh, head to show studio for all our amazing coverage. See you soon.